All right, um, this video we're going over a small walkthrough of Hugo's Way and how to pretty much like navigate Hugo's Way. So we have already made an account. Um, once you guys make your account and verify your email, this is uh, the back office of Hugo's Way. On the left hand menu, you have your um, pretty much all your important options. So dashboard, we're on a dashboard right now. There's nothing really to see because of the new account. Um, they have made deposit withdrawal your account overview and transfers very easy on the dashboard so it's pretty uh it's a one click thing um you go over to my accounts this is going to be where your list of accounts are so when you create an account um let's see let's create an account right now create an account press that when you uh when they tell you what account type you want you always want to go for a hugo's mt4 ecn this is going to be your live account if you guys want a demo account, um, they have the option as well. Select the currency. Um, select what um, country or currency uh, value you guys want to trade in. So I'm just going to do USD for demonstration purposes. The leverage. So that leverage will go. Um, uh, we'll go into that a little bit deeper um, later on in the later on as you go. Um, forward but leverage i always use the highest leverage which is the 500 um they only offer up to 500 you guys can go like lower but 500 is going to give you the most uh, power in trading so meaning um if you let's say you deposit a thousand dollars your buying power is 500 times that so for every dollar you deposit you have um your power your buying power is 500 times that so if your leverage was 50 um your buying power would just be uh 50 times let's say a thousand in this case your deposit was a thousand so we're just going to click 500 and create the account your account is created so once an account is created they send you your details in the email that you sent i mean the email that you created your hugo's way account it's not going to be on um, the website it's going to be in your email it's more safer that way all right so once you click my account again it's going to refresh and this is going to be your um details so your account number this is the account oh, everything's going to be in the email but let's say um you don't have access to your email right now or you're just too lazy there's going to be an account number that you use to log in and the password they give you a trader's password in your email so everything's going to be in your email all right, so let's head over to deposit funds on your left hand side. When you make a deposit, right now, since we are not verified, we can only make Bitcoin deposits. Okay, so select the wallet, a wallet meaning um, which wallet is this money going into. It's not your trading account yet. That's where that's um, what the internal transfer is for. So let's say the USD wallet, we're just gonna deposit it into that. That means it converts whatever um, deposit method into USD. So right now, since again, not verified, you can only deposit through Bitcoin. And let's say you wanna deposit $1,000 via Bitcoin and uh, can proceed there. Redirect yourself to the payments page. So that's gonna be the Bitcoin address um, you input on your um, sender side. Okay, we're not gonna go into detail with that. Oh, but um, if you're doing Bitcoin, time left, uh, they give you a timer. So you guys need to act on that and send the exact amount over to this address. This is um, your Hugo's Way address. So send it over to here and you have like 14 minutes left. So head over to internal transfer. What internal transfer is, whenever you deposit, let's say you're depositing Bitcoin into Hugo's Way, that's gonna hit your Hugo's Way wallet. It's not going to hit your um, live trading account um, balance. All right, so you had to transfer it from your Hugo's Way wallet into your MetaTrader 4 live account. So to do that, you would go to wallet, you would just um, select this option, wallet to MT4. And then um, let's say we have $1,000 in USC right now. We deposited it and it was $1,000 and you will select your um, MT4 account. So that's gonna pop up there and make sure you guys select, send it to the right account. Otherwise, um, 
you'll just get confused. But you if you only have one account, that's fine. And then amount to transfer, say a thousand if this was a thousand. All right, so that's what internal transfer is. If you guys want to withdraw, um, it will be from your live account back into your Hugo's way, and then from your Hugo's way it wallet into your bank account. All right, so that's internal transfer withdrawal again. Withdrawal um, USD withdrawal type. Since we're not verified again, we can you guys can only do Bitcoin. You guys don't have to which, um, verify, but um, the only method you guys can um, deposit and withdraw is through Bitcoin. So that's that. Withdrawal and deposit is pretty much the same thing. Um, this address, this address is going to be your wallet address, your personal um, um, crypto or Bitcoin wallet address. So that's going to be the withdrawal process there. Withdrawal is going to take um, a little bit longer than deposits. Mm. This is the verification. So if you guys want to verify yourself and um, do have uh, more options of deposit and withdrawals, meaning like Zelle or credit cards, and bank transfers, you guys had to um, upload your documents for verification. So just follow what this, um, what they say. So proof of ID can be your driver's license, your state issued ID, um, stuff like that, passport. Um, drag and drop, they uh, accept, like, I think it's like pictures or I think PDFs, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure um, when you upload, it's going to be a picture. Then next, since I'm not um, uploading anything right now, when you click next, it's going to be your bank statement or your utility bill, anything with your name and address on it that um, corresponds with like your bank account or um, stuff like that. Your address, if you're doing a bank statement, make sure you um, are scanning the paper statement or you guys can screenshot it and scan it through like a cam scanner app. So it makes it look like it's scanned, right? They don't accept screenshots. So make sure um, you convert it to like a black and white scanned version of the picture. Um, verifying, that's the process they take to verify your documents. And then approve, once it's approved, uh, you have Zelle, um, you have all sorts of deposit methods and withdrawal methods. Um, I don't really check my notifications, I don't really get on Hugo's way that much unless I'm withdrawing or depositing. Settings, um, this is the settings. Again, I don't check this as well. Um, you guys can if you want to, but I, don't, I never really see a need. And then the last part is log out. So that's pretty much it for a small walkthrough of Hugo's Way. If you guys have any questions, or just feel free to message us or comment down below or email us. Um, actually, I don't know about email, but you guys can always message us on Telegram. The group is pretty much available 24-7 for help of any some sort.